Well, hello and welcome to another Redline First Look video from my office slash studio just outside the DC area. Typically, I would be at an auto show showing you guys a first look. However, today, Toyota has just unveiled two all new models, the 2021 Toyota Sienna, the fourth generation, and this 2021 Toyota Venza, the all new second generation. So when you're done watching my Venza video, be sure to click on the link in the description below. You can watch my first look on the all new redesigned Toyota Sienna minivan. Now the Venza, we haven't seen this nameplate since 2015 when Toyota discontinued it. It slots between the RAV4 and the Highlander as a mid-sized two row only crossover. And it's finally back because everybody loves crossovers. So let's take a first look. So as I mentioned earlier, the Venza slots between the RAV4 and the Highlander, so it competes with vehicles like the Ford Edge, the Hyundai Santa Fe, the Subaru Outback, and of course the Honda Passport. Now it's built on the same Toyota TNGA-K platform. So the previous generation was built on the old K architecture. This is now sharing a platform, of course, with the RAV4, the Camry, the Avalon, the Sienna, the Highlander, a lot of vehicles use this platform. It's a scalable platform, so it's a great thing that Toyota uh, designed a platform like that. Now, this vehicle is mechanically similar to the Japanese market-only Toyota Harrier, which they actually already showed the Harrier uh, earlier this year. And if you look at the styling of the new Venza, it basically looks like that model. Aside from a few tweaks here and there, you're gonna have full LED headlights as standard equipment at the front end, which is a nice thing. And just like the new Sienna, the Venza is only going to be launched as a hybrid. The previous generation offered a choice of a four cylinder or a V6. This one is now only a hybrid. It also comes standard with all wheel drive, which we'll talk about the powertrain in just a moment. Now, like all the other Toyota or all the other recent Toyota products, you have this very massive grille that dominates the front end. You have the Toyota emblem with the blue hybridized badge to show this is a hybrid model. And it also has a rather sleek look to it. I'm actually pretty impressed that Toyota didn't just make the Venza look like a scaled down version of the Highlander or a ballooned up version of the RAV4. It's definitely really car-like. I even see some sleekness, some Jaguar E-Pace uh, in the design. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the actual look. Now in terms of the size of the Venza, this is probably going to be right around six inches bigger than a RAV4. So we're looking at around 187 inches long. That is identical in size to something like the Hyundai Santa Fe, but a little bit smaller than vehicles like the Jeep Grand Cherokee or the Ford Edge or Subaru uh, Outback. Now in terms of the wheel sizes, standard wheels will be an 18 inch wheel on the LE, while the XLE and limited grades will offer a 19 inch wheel that is standard. Now the one thing I'm noticing, the previous generation Venza offered a 20 inch wheel on the six cylinder models. Toyota for some reason is going an inch smaller on the wheels, which is really surprising to me. And like every other Toyota product, their safety tech is gonna be standard. So you have their Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 as standard equipment on all grades of the Venza. Now, as I mentioned, the Venza will only launch here in America as a hybridized powertrain. If you've driven the RAV4 hybrid, the current one, the powertrain is going to look very familiar. Hello, it's basically the same car, just a little bit longer. It will launch with a 2.5 liter four cylinder that runs on the Atkinson cycle. Uh, this powertrain, of course, is the modern engine that has the variable valve timing and stuff like that to make this thing produce as much power as it can. It is helped by three electric motors because this car comes standard with all wheel drive. Toyota says when you combine the output of the gas engine and the hybrids, you're gonna get around uh, 219 horsepower, which is pretty good numbers, although it is less powerful than the same powertrain that they just introduced on the Highlander Hybrid and the upcoming Sienna, which is also only a hybrid uh, vehicle. That doesn't surprise me considering this is a smaller vehicle. It's going to be a lot less heavy versus the Highlander and the Sienna. In the RAV4 Hybrid, this powertrain offers very sufficient power. It'll, it should satisfy a lot of people. The beauty about being a hybrid is the Venza will get up to 40 MPG combined. 40 MPG combined on the base LE trims. That matches the fuel economy you're gonna get in the RAV4 Hybrid and something like the CRV Hybrid, which actually gets better gas mileage than the new CRV Hybrid. Now, just like all the other Toyota hybrids, power flows out through an eCVT, which is your only transmission option. And they didn't announce towing for this vehicle, but the current RAV4 Hybrid tows around 1,500 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if the Venza uh, should be able to tow that same amount. 
Now, just like the RAV4 hybrid, Toyota has been getting a lot better with the battery packaging and the lithium ion battery in this thing lives underneath the rear seat. So you don't have to worry about losing any cargo capacity compared to a gas only version, which Toyota actually says the Venza offers up to 36.3 cubic feet of space behind that second row, which is actually a little bit more than what you're gonna get in the RAV4. Now, because this shares a platform with the RAV4, I asked Toyota if they were expecting to do a Prime version of this, that's the RAV4 hybrids, uh, RAV4 Prime's powertrain that has up to 50 miles of range. They said it'll support it, but they didn't confirm, which means that you should probably expect a plug-in hybrid of the Venza to come out. And if it offers over 300 horsepower like the RAV, it should be a really nice addition for those of you who want more power. So one of the reasons why you may wanna go into a mid-size SUV like this without a third row is because the compact models just don't offer the same kind of luxury or space that you're looking for, which is where the Venza comes in. Toyota says there's going to be ample room for five people and their stuff in this all new Venza. It has a really nice cabin versus even the highest trim levels of the, high, of the RAV4, so you're gonna get you know, premium materials, a lot of stitching, a lot of leather. And when I look at the interior of the new Venza, I definitely think it has an upscale look. I mean, the big thing there is that 12.3 inch touchscreen. Now that massive touchscreen is standard on the limited grade, the top trim, optional on the XLE. All the other grades, the LE and XLE will come standard with an eight inch touchscreen. Now, of course, like the newer Toyota products, you will have features like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa that will be standard equipment. And when you guys go for the top trim spec, you're gonna get a nine speaker, 1200 watt premium JBL sound system. Now other luxury touches the limited grade will offer include a 10 inch color heads up display, heated and ventilated front seats with heated rear seats, a digital rear view camera mirror, and this cool new option that Toyota is introducing for the first time ever. It's called Stargaze. It's a panoramic fixed glass roof with frost control. Now what the hell does that mean? It uses an electrochromatic glass technology which allows you to switch from a transparent to a frosted mode in the glass in seconds using an on off switch. So Mercedes introduced something like that called Magic Sky Control on the S Class a few years ago. You can now get it on a Toyota Venza and it should be standard on the limited grade. Although when it's a fixed glass roof, I'm going to assume that you can't open the sunroof, which is a little bit disappointing. But regardless, it's a very cool party trick and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, that frosted glass roof thingy whenever I see this van, this vehicle in person. Now, a few other things I'm noticing about the all new interior of the 2021 Venza, besides that gorgeous 12 inch tablet style screen, it looks like Toyota has also moved to a bunch of touch sensitive controls on the center stack. I see a touch sensitive control for the volume, the tuning for the fan, the climate control for all of your usual switches. That makes me a little concerned because I don't typically like touch sensitive controls. So I'll have to wait until I actually try this vehicle out. Uh, in person to reserve my final judgment. The steering wheel is practically the same steering wheel that you get on the Camry, on the Avalon. That has traditional buttons. The gear lever is also very traditional. The on off switch the, or the power switch is also right above the shifter, although it's kind of buried deep into the center stack. So I'll have to wait and see when I sit in the car to judge the space. But overall, if you want something more luxurious and obviously something more spacious, the new Venza should offer a lot over a fully loaded RAV4 Limited. So if you're super excited about the new 2021 Toyota Venza, how soon can you pick one of these up at your local dealership? Well, Toyota says that the new Venza will actually be coming out very soon. It should be at your local Toyota dealerships by August of this year. And they actually said that the coronavirus pandemic is not delaying the launch, which means I should be able to get my hands on this thing and drive one and give you my full driving impressions probably by early summer, early to mid summer. So stay tuned for that. And in terms of pricing, obviously we don't have pricing yet on this vehicle, but judging by the segment that it competes with, I'm going to expect the new Venza should start at under $30,000 and maybe go up to you know the mid 40,000s for a fully loaded version. It should, again, be slightly less expensive than a Highlander, slightly more expensive than a RAV4. But with all that said, if you guys haven't seen my first look video on the 2021 Toyota Sienna, remember Toyota unveiled two vehicles here or today, be sure to click on the link in the description below where you can watch my first look impressions on that new Sienna minivan. However, if you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook, and as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.